Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, today, sorry for the echo, we're actually in my bathroom and we're going to go over my skincare favorites and also something that I was really disappointed in. So, come and join me. Hey guys, okay, so welcome back. So today, I have done these a couple of times on Instagram, but I thought it might be fun to do one here. Just going over some of my current favorites in skincare and also something that just broke me out. So something I was trying. Um, one of the things is since I've been kind of at home more, like all of us, I have been trying out a lot of different products just to see what I liked. Uh, I figured if I break out right now, I'm at home. It doesn't really matter as much. So uh, I, th I would start with a couple of my like one of my go-to favorite, favorite favorite, which is actually something I use in the shower and the spa is a little dirty because I do use it in the shower all the time, which is the L'Occitane shower oil. I love this stuff. I mix it in with my body wash. I mix it in if I use my exfoliating gloves in the shower, I put it on that. It just feels so amazing. And along with that, this is another L'Occitane product. This is their milk concentrate, which I it feels so luxurious. It smells amazing. I don't know. I can't even explain how amazing it is, but I just really, really love it. And I don't, this is not like my everyday lotion, but um, especially now like being home, you know, when I feel down, I feel like most of us, right? I'm like being real here. Um, I think all of us are having days when we feel down. It just makes you feel like serious. So I love it. Um, and I buy usually like one a year and I go through it throughout the year and then I buy a new one or ask for one for Christmas. I will say there's a dupe to this out. I forget the name of it. I do have it on my buy list to try it and see if it's any better because this does get expensive. But really I use two pumps in each of my showers. So not that horribly expensive. Another thing I love is Dr. Brandt, um, his microdermabrasion. This stuff is so awesome. It's super, super fine. It does a great job. I use it once a day, uh, once a week. I mean, once a day. Once a day would be way too much exfoliating. Um, but I use it once a week and I just put it on, just massage it all in. Just makes me feel like I'm getting a really, really deep clean. Um, I've switched right now to physical exfoliants. I do usually like a chemical one, but I um, thought I would give this a try and really, really loving it and happy with it. So I'm going to stick on that. Another current favorite is this Silk Scrunchie. I use this uh, at night for my skincare. I use it sometimes I'll sleep in it. I have a satin pillowcase too, but this is just super soft. And great, and I have a few of them, and I just pop them in the wash after a few days. So love this. Speaking of things in the wash, um, so one of the things I'm so happy I did was I switched to reusable cotton, cotton rounds. So these little guys, and I have like two packs of 16 I bought. They come with a little baggie, so I have like a little like gift bag underneath my sink. So after I use it. I pop it in there and once it gets kind of full, I pull them out, put them in the bags and wash them. But it just is cutting down on how much of, you know, cotton balls. Like I would use six cotton balls a day maybe. Um, so this just cuts down that less garbage, you know, less um, things going into landfills and stuff. So I really like them and they work really, really well. So super happy with that. Also... Another kind of tool things I love. So here's my thing, guys. I get that the jade roller is a big thing. I honestly don't believe the jade, and maybe someone has the great science behind it. I am not an esthetician nor a dermatologist, so none of this is a uh, endor This is just all endorsement based simply on things I like right now. Um, but I believe, at least from what I've read and research I've done, that it's not actually the jade. It is the motion in the actual massaging of the face and it helps to drain. Um, so, and I do have a skin fridge, which I'll also show you at the end. So I keep mine in there and I love this. This is just from Walmart. Seriously, not that expensive um, to roll in oil. I have, as you can see, kind of 
bags under my eyes so I like to roll under there with the small one very gently always be gentle around your eyes but I really do like this and I like to use it once a day every other day um I want to remember along with tools my next thing da, 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 da. Jason oh wait Michael Myers right <laughs> is this guy um this is my LED light therapy the actual comes with this and usually there's a plug the plug is still on my wall because I keep this in my bedroom and what I do three times a week after I finish my nighttime skincare is I go in throw this on for 15 to 20 minutes and um right now I'm using the acne setting a lot because I do have I don't have makeup on today so you can see I do have a breakout happening so really really trying to work on that and I'll tell you why I have a breakout in a little bit but um, I love this. This was just under, just over 100 bucks. I got it for Christmas for my husband. Um, I use the collagen setting also a lot too because I am getting older and I'm in my 30s now and I want to keep my skin nice and supple and young. Another tool. So I do, once a week I like to do a sheet mask and I also like to use like an under eye mask on a different day. So I love this thing. My mom actually bought me this and I thought it was a little ridiculous, but I do like it. So it has the two heads. You've probably seen this on TV. I think it's on an infomercial. I don't know where she got it, but I'm assuming you can buy it everywhere. And then it's motorized and so it vibrates. So I love to use this when I have a sheet mask on to go over and just kind of encourage the mask to the all the supplements and serums in that mask to kind of get into the skin and really work its magic i also will use this afterward just to kind of moisturize and blend it all in and kind of again try to get to absorb a little bit more you don't want to use a tool like this or this on dry skin so that's why i like it with a mask or i like it when i put a serum on because you want a little okay lack of a better word slippage okay you want a little slippage um, so there you go. As far as skincare products, right now I'm kind of in between a few things. Um, now I used to, actually I still technically am a Mary Kay consultant, so I just have a lot of the products right now, which is why I'm using them up. Um, so this is a Mary Kay one, however, um, because I'm dealing with acne right now, this is 2% salicylic acid. That's what I would look for if you have acne in a face wash. Um, what I do is I like to use this one in the shower. I, you know, massage it all in over my face. And then I kind of let it sit for a few minutes to try and get the salicylic acid to do its job, do its work, really, really help kind of um, with the breakout. So um, that's just a tip. I like to personally leave it on for a little bit and then wash off. If I use it next to, like, at night, again, same thing. I, my skin, even though I'm dealing with acne, gets dried up very quickly. So I only use this one once a day and then I just use a really gentle foaming, not foaming, but like a gel cleanser the other time. Um, just because I found using this twice a day does just lead to my skin getting too dried out. However, I use salicylic acid twice a day. So when I am, if I'm not using this, so if I use my gel cleanser in this little pump bottle, and this is from Dollar Tree, and I love it because you pump it and I can get just enough of the toner on. It's a toner with 2% salicylic acid in it again um, because I just really find that it helps my skin and then I just swipe it after I wash my face. Um, currently, I'm not using an oil double cleanse only because I'm not wearing makeup, but I would go in with an oil cleanser first at night. What I've been doing, honestly, is just washing my face twice one really quick time with my cleanser to try to get the sunscreen the, the all that kind of stuff off and then kind of like a deeper massaging one for that second cleanse my next product this very so you probably see that this one actually is a dupe that i got off of amazon um this thing was like 10 15 bucks as opposed to the hundred and something that they charge you for the other ones but i do like it because it gets in everywhere um, I don't use this all the time, and I actually probably have to recharge it soon. Oops, the charging cord's in there. But it's water-resistant, all that fun stuff. So I don't bring this in the shower with me. I just use it at the sink. But I do like this just when I feel like I need a deeper cleanse. And I like because it is silicone. 
so I can wash it after and not worry about bacteria and germs and all that fun stuff. So there we go. Um, so my last thing, um, I'm actually using a vitamin C currently in the morning and then mistake I made guys. So I was walking through Dollar Tree and as you know, I've been trying a lot of Dollar Tree mask out like sheet mask and um, eye mask and just like clay mask that they sell just because like, you know what, why not? So I saw this product. I was like, you know what, let's give this a try. Did not look at the ingredients list. Let me try to get you. So this is their um, Boloro Serum. It was supposed to be a brightening face serum with strawberry and pineapple. And again, it was a dollar. And it says fruit enzymes boost radiance, improve skin tone. So um, free from dyes and something else. I don't know. So I was like, you know what, why not? So I had just finished up a serum and I hadn't ordered a new one. So I was like, you know what, I'll start using this. Mistake I made is I didn't read the back of it before I started to use it. Because the first two ingredients in it are mineral oil and then a really funky name, which turned out to be a part of like a coconut oil. And then it has fragrance in it. Now my skin doesn't get bothered by fragrance, so I wasn't worried about that. But... Uh, mineral oil and coconut oil ten, can, depending on your skin tone, be known to clog pores. Now, they're used in ingredients usually because they help to, because they, they can help moisture, like keep moisture on the skin, right? Because it doesn't soak in, but hopefully I'm explaining this. Again, not a dermatologist, not an esthetician. This is just for my personal research. But I was like, you know what? I'll give it a try. I used it for two days and... I have a couple more other places and I broke out. So my skin just can't handle apparently. So it's just a reminder, check the labels, you know, figure out what ingredients are good for you. Um, it does have fruit extracts, but they're so far on the bottom. They, I don't really see how this would brighten my skin that well, but I gave it a try. Um, I am now, so what do you do? Like, you know, I have this bottle, can't return it. Uh, but it is an oil, right? So it's basically these really nice kind of um, oils. So I've been using it just on my skin in places where I have super dry skin. So I've actually been using it on my feet, on my legs after I shave, on my cuticles, those types of places. Um, and that's how I'll use it up. But I'm not going to use it on my face again because of what happened. So just a reminder to check the ingredients list. Other than that, I'm not like in love with any product I'm using right now, sadly. Um, I love my salicylic acid face wash. The one I have is great, like I said, but there are a lot of good salicylic acids on the market. Um, and I'm using a vitamin C serum only in the morning because dun, 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 dun. Um, I just started to use a retinol cream for my dermatologist because of my breakout. Um, they want to add something else in. So um, really am loving that. Only using it every other day. So I'll give you guys a better review. Hopefully my skin will improve soon. And you'll be able to see it. But those are what I'm using. What I'm loving right now. A lot of it are the tools I'm using. Um, and I will, I'm going to be testing out some new products. I have some stuff coming in the mail. And so as I'm starting to kind of find products that I'm really, really loving as far as serums and things like that go, I will definitely keep you guys updated. But um, someone had commented on Instagram wanting an update on my favorites. And these are my current favorites that I love and am using and are helping me get through this crazy time we're in. So have a great day and I'll see you all soon. Bye.